I look kind of gross and messy right now because I'm just about to get ready and for some reason I've got a lot of spots on my face at the moment which is unfortunate but anyway I'm not sure what the situation is at the moment for most people around the world to be able to celebrate St. Patrick's Day what about like in Ireland like I know that last year nobody was able to celebrate it which was tragic probably like the first time ever well there's not necessarily a lot of stuff to do here but I might fix myself up and go in search of some folk music or something like that I have been to Ireland twice in my life I very much like it there I think it's lovely it reminds me a lot of New Zealand but it's basically to me it just felt like being in New Zealand but with more evidence of human history like you could tell with all the old walls and buildings and ruins and things that there'd been people there for hundreds or thousands of years you know otherwise like the landscape in a lot of places especially County Kerry I found for me felt a lot just like driving around New Zealand I'm gonna fix my far up away but go find something fun to do oh by the way for the entire day, my name is Eileen Mulholland instead of my usual name because my grandmother told me, because I think I must have been about 13 years old or something, when it was St. Patrick's Day and my grandma told me, she said, well, your name today is Eileen Mulholland, which was her maiden name and middle name. Uh, so every St. Patrick's Day, that's my, my name for the day. I feel like I'm having trouble talking and I don't know why that is. I feel like, you know when you feel like you, you, you walk into like the perfume section of a department store and you kind of can't breathe? Does anyone know that feeling? I have one solitary green eyeshadow, so, and I think a green lipstick or two. So I'll do the best I can. Oh god, I miss all my lovely makeup. The tool's still overseas, all my lovely glitters and highlighters. <laughs> I've got a gold eyeshadow and it's even called Harp, so I guess that's appropriate. I so seldom use gold and I'm always just like, because in my mind I don't really like it, but then I put it on and I'm like, oh it looks so pretty. <laughs> and it's going everywhere. A bit messy, not quite sure what's going on here, but <laughs> I kind of just hope that everybody else there will be drunk. This is my new favorite eyeliner, by the way. Flash Cat Eye from L'Oreal. And you know it because it's got this little stencil thingy on it. Wow, nothing really wants to go over this fucking gold eyeshadow. The pencil wouldn't go over it, now the liquid won't go over it. Damn. Have to use something thicker. Ooh, one of my contact lenses went funny. I feel like today is a day where I don't need to wear coloured lenses because my eyes are already green. colourful than I'm comfortable with. I have no idea if it's gonna look good, but whatever. <laughs> we can but try. Let's find out the hard way. It's like not even a nice shade of green.
with this, which is pretty wild. It might be like the wrong shade of green, but this is like slime from Black Moon Cosmetics. I don't know, let me just put on a wee bit and see what it looks like. Oh, it's really bright, isn't it? I mean, if I... If, mm. Whoa, it's so bright. It looks pretty fantastic. A wee bit of it up here. I have an idea. I've had both of these lipsticks for quite a while, but I've had very little chance to really wear them, I suppose. This one's from Baby Bat Beauty, which is a very nice little company. You should look up Baby Bat Beauty. Lovely people and really, really nice stuff. Hex is this shade. I'll put on some Hex and then I'll put on a bit of slime. <laughs> Those are great colour names, aren't they? Oh, that looks great. Very nice. I'm kind of feeling like I have to talk a wee bit quietly because Mr. Owl, my man thing, is taking a nap in the next room, so I feel like I have to be a wee bit quiet. I was just looking at my face being like, something's, something's missing, I've forgotten something, and then I realized I haven't put mascara on. Wow. Wow, that eyeliner really just didn't go on, did it? I do love that eyeliner, it's very good, but this eyeshadow just doesn't want anything to go over it, I guess. Always, 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 always wanted to go, as I suppose many people have to Ireland for St. Patrick's Day, because I understand there's like parades and stuff, and it'd be wonderful. It'd be wonderful just to make like a whole big thing of it. It was very strange being in Germany all that time because they don't celebrate it there. St. Patrick's Day and Guy Fawkes start, of course, they don't celebrate either of those there, but they do celebrate a lot of other stuff and they put way more effort <laughs> into the things that they do celebrate than we do. not even really going on either. Crazy. Gold glitter just wants to be like by itself. I haven't got anything green to wear I guess but oh well. This makeup is quite enough colour I think. go and now I just have to do my hair find something to wear and we'll go look for some crack I'm absolutely dissatisfied with the way my hair and everything has turned out my hair just looks like it's got a disease but I just put a wee bit of lipstick in it so mm. and I, I tried to like curl it and stuff because I thought that would be more like fun but I am wearing a lot of bead necklaces so that's nice I'm very much dissatisfied <laughs> with my finished look or whatever I only ever feel like conscious of people looking at me when I don't feel like I look good. Let's go find something fun to do. I hope. I think it's all the Irish pubs we saw today, but holy shit. <laughs> It's just really packed. The sailing is also on today, well, <laughs> which is a huge deal. Even I used to get really, really into it. Like when I was a kid, I'd be like watching the sailing, and I'm not gonna get to like all the people watching sailing. I'll be amazed if I can get to the bar. It is the future. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so 
going to eat something to drink. Uh, no, it's already been actually. It's already St. Patrick's Day today, get it right? Fools. I actually love, love, love Irish folk music, so I would really like to see some folk music, but I feel like it might not happen. Maybe later, who knows? I guess I'll go find another Irish pub to go hang out at for a bit. I really wanted to hear some folk music, but I really don't think I'm going to. The band earlier did play a folk song, but they played it in a not very folky way, but it was better than nothing. I really wanted to hear some folk music and have a bit of a dance and some Irish stew, but that's okay. I cannot have those things, but I can have them at home, which is what I suppose most of us can have at the moment anyway. I think what I'll do is I'll go home and I'll eat my can of Irish stew and I'll put on some folk music. <laughs> anyway, I hope I've been able to give you like a reminder of what a COVID-free world looks like. I suppose I have tended to my 20% Irish DNA as much as I've been able to today. I'm just very grateful that unlike many other countries in the world, most I suppose, we're able to go out and celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So if you've not already done so, please subscribe to my channel, you know you want to. And as always, take care of yourself, be nice to each other, fiddle with the potatoes, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye!